HA 2019-02. Mr. Jimmy Patel. Another variance request by Mr. Patel uh, for property that's located within the game and quarter of the district. Um, but this is, has to do with sign regulations of the district itself um, and also the regular sign regulations of the city. Um, the request is to add an additional sign. Um, in your packet, it's a sign schematic of the new sign that they want to add. And like we can talk about at the work session, they had already gone through the sign permitting process received a permit for a monument stop sign to go with their new entrance on Morgan Road. Um, that sign has been erected. And because this is technically a corner lot, which is a little hard to see the diagram, maybe to go back to the aerial. Um, it has, probably has frontage on the Morgan Road, which is followed by the red lines. Like I said, the work session, you have to use your imagination. This is from 2007 aerial imagery. The world has changed out there at exit 29, and the old Morgan Road running along the interstate highway is gone. It has now been replaced by a new on-ramp, and so Morgan Road has been relocated to the other side of the subject property, where you see those red lines sort of in that nice wide gentle curve. The truck stop has property on that road as well as Georgia 122, uh, right there in the upper left corner. They are wanting to add a second sign on the Georgia 122 frontage that is both taller and larger, um, about twice as big, three times as tall as what the sign regs allow for even a primary sign. Keep in mind, the primary sign has already been permitted and installed along Morgan Road. So the request is to add additional, much larger signs. One of the options, uh, of course, this is a variance request the, which is far beyond the current rates. It's not just a little bit over the limit, it's a long ways over the limit. Staff's recommendation is for denial of the marriage request. However, just as a reminder from the discussion of the work session, uh, the applicant does have a little stronger argument for visibility of the height of a sign in Georgia 122 because of the topography in that area. One idea that was brought forward was perhaps the um, Monument sign that's permitted, that size, which is the maximum size allowed, could be reinstalled on a pole that's taller at along the Georgia 122 frontage, and then a secondary sign per code, which would be 37 and a half square feet, up to 10 feet tall, be installed at the driveway that's on the pole. But so in that scenario, the variance request would be to grant relief to the height requirements along Georgia 122, from 10 feet to 30 feet, but no relief on the size area. So the maximum size would still be 75 square feet. That's a little better request. There's still no hardship for it. Staff's recommendation has not changed, but it has a different argument to it, at least from the point of view of the applicant. That has not been discussed with the applicant as of yet. Any questions? And one other thing, there is another existing sign on the property at the south end. There's a high-rise billboard that you see in the background of the upper left picture. Um, 400 plus square feet, I think, already there. And then in the foreground, you see the monument-style low-rise sign that's currently at the entrance. That's the new sign that was recently put. Just curious, just curious, the overlay district that encompasses the interchange that pays our is that portrayed in, in city of Austin's public interchange uh, interstate interchange? None of the city's interstate interchanges are currently in an overlay district. So 16 and 18 used to be. Yeah. So those was removed several years ago with the idea that a different overlay district be created for the interstate marketplace. And that has not happened yet. Um, that's a subjective opinion. Um, I don't agree with it. Um, it's a decision by Hayhauer officials to take the development standards along the Georgia 122 corridor and make them uniform throughout the city limits. Um, there has been prior discussion in previous years of changing the geography of that and stopping it at the interstate. The flip side of that argument is you have half, one side of the interstate one way, the other side another. So then another argument was to go 
further in the town. But since there's been a lot of development along 122, not far from the interchange, it's complied with the standards. And our officials so far have left everything as originally adopted in 2009. So all of exit 29, all of the corridor 122 in West Main, all the way to the railroad. Matt, I'm sorry to be so confused on this, but this image we have on the screen now, I'm referring to that. The large sign at the back left up on the tall pole, that sign exists, of course. I grandfathered saw in, non-conforming. Oh, grandfathered in, non-conforming. Non grandfathered in, okay. On the edge of the property. And so how, how will that compare in size with the new sign? The new sign will be bigger or a different shape? or um, will be The new up? sign will be a fraction of that size, but a lot shorter. And most billboards are around 400 square feet. What's being proposed, I think, is 130 square feet, 30 feet tall. So, so did you give us a little leeway on this first picture here? Did I want you to give us a little leeway on possibly about raising the height? Is that what you're saying? This first one, I mean, this, we didn't have this at the work session. Okay. Tracy put this PowerPoint together. Okay. Um, she's the one who's familiar with all the signs there since she processed the sign permit. But she wanted to show the existing sign that's there that meets code. And that's with Warren Road being declared as the primary frontage, and so it gets the primary sign. Currently, there is no sign on Georgia 122. Um, well, now the applicant wants to add a sign on Georgia 122, okay. which they're allowed to do if they keep it down to 10 feet tall and 37 and a half square feet. Well, they want it 30 feet tall and over 100 square feet. Okay. One of the things we discussed um, at the work session was that. He has lost three entrances to his property with the um, new construction of the interchange. So the entrance to his property has now moved around to the back side of the property and he has to come in there. The sign, the bigger sign that you see in the second picture is what I consider an interstate sign. I mean, we see those all up and down the interstate, which in my mind really serves no purpose for those who want, want to get off at that exit because by the time they see it, they've already passed that exit. So, I like the recommendation that Matt had. Let's give him some relief and maybe swap out the signs. Because unless you turn on Morgan Road, you really can't see this sign. I mean, he is, for all intents and purposes, from the interstate, he's not, he is not visible from the interstate. Is that what you're talking about giving relief on some height? Yes. He's requesting two variances. Yes. One for size, one for height. Yes. And the idea of the work session was to grant relief on the height of one of the signs. With the proviso that that become the primary larger sign. The height of one of the signs, meaning the one in the picture here? Not the one in the picture. Shorter sign. Right. The one in the picture would be replaced with a smaller size sign that's still that height. Mm -hmm. And this size sign that you see in that picture would then be relocated on a taller pole along Georgia 122, not very far from that location. Okay. No, not this one. So this sign, this is a newly installed. No, not that one. That's a billboard. The two no. signs would be about 50 to 70 feet apart. What he's doing, he, what he's talking about is taking this newly installed shell sign and moving it to 122 and putting it on a pole, moving it up in the air, and then use his second sign that he has allowed and bring here and put a smaller sign. For another, to replace that sign with a sign face half that sign. Right. No, that's the billboard. So We're not talking about the billboard. That's grandfathered. That's grandfathered. The billboard is not on the table for this. No. Yeah. 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 We're just talking about the, the shell sign that's been newly installed, which is a good size sign. Our recommendation or suggestion that we spoke about the other day would be able to take that sign, move it over to 122, and put it on a higher pole, stick it up in the air and then put his second sign, a smaller sign, where this one is currently. Do you, do you think that's going to get attention quick for people before you get on the interstate? Still not. No, no. That would be the purpose, the purpose of the sign on the board. That's right, Robert. You have no idea when you come off that interstate that he's down. You can't even see the entrance. No. You have to go down Morgan Road. If you're going down Morgan Road, you say, oh, look, there's a station. Which is why the taller sign at 122 right. would mark. Can we go back a couple of pictures where that there was a home um, that we saw um, in one of the views? Well, this will work. Um, 
So his interest has moved back here now. So what he was thinking or what we were discussing would be putting the sign here along 122 so that people coming off 122 or getting off the interstate could see the sign. And then you just put the smaller one back around there where you saw the more Can we go back to the grandfather in sign, please, just for a second? The billboard. The billboard. We're not, we're not discussing it. Uh, I know, unless you want to. I have, a, I have a point of reference question. When you say for the new sign, which is this sign that currently exists beside the road here, the small one, to go up in the air, how does up in the air compare to how this other one, this grandfathered in, relate? Is that is up in the air as high as that one? Or half no, as high or what? No, probably half. Okay, thank you. That's a lot. That one said 37 square feet, Matt? The smaller one here. Oh, or half the right. What you're seeing is the 75 square foot sign. Okay. The show was it. 10 feet tall, 75 square feet. That's the maximum that's allowed for a primary sign. The proposal from the work session is to grant relief of height for a sign just like that. Instead of being 10 feet tall, maybe allow it 30 feet tall, with the location being on 122. Mm -hmm. okay, so in other words, this panel gets relocated and put up high. And in this location, which is really the entrance drive from Morgan, can be called half that size. Okay. To mark the driveway entrance from Morgan Road. As soon as you get on Morgan Road, you're going to see the entrance. It's all okay. it's help mark where to turn in that. So to simplify, we'll take the little shell sign, move it around the 122, stick it on a 30 foot pole, then bring in a smaller sign to put to replace that. That's the idea. Okay, well, let's talk to some people. <laughs> Any more questions for staff? Okay. <coughs> Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Please come forward. Speak now. Forever hold your peace. State your name and address, please. Uh, my name is Alan Crump. I live at 4844 uh, Brixton Road. Uh, okay, Mr. Crump. Uh, one thing that has been brought out, I'm not, we all know that there's an 8 foot DOT fence on Highway 142. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to get above that. We put a sign up on that road, we need to get above that fence. Uh, if we move the other sign, we won't need 30 feet. Uh, when we build that sign, uh, I wasn't sure we would want to, I'm the contractor, we would want to go through the problem because we have to have a final expense, a final variance. So we put a uh, you know, maximum liable sign just there. But people coming off the interstate, it's still, it's difficult to find any stuff like this. So Trying to, trying to guide them to uh, uh, more of the road than just to uh, 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 and, and, um, uh, I know the sign is, we, Shell has a vacant sign for us to use. Uh, since we, uh, we were going to go over there to try to dig a sign, we could reduce to a, a, a six foot wide sign, which would consider Reduce uh, uh, the if we're allowed to keep the sign where it's at. Uh, but uh, uh, we only have certain options to work with. Uh, the only other sign that I could replace out of is going to be a five and ten or ten and fifty feet square feet. And we could see, uh, I don't know how many square feet I can call, we could probably get around 70, 80 square feet on a uh, uh, two pole sign for 122. Other questions? So what you're saying is leave the current sign? We would we would like to uh, uh, leave the current sign sign there. Uh, I think uh, Jimmy. Yes. Uh, we would like to have this sign. Uh, uh, and, and, You've got to realize that they built up this interchange. This this place, especially for northbound traffic, is something going to be hard to see, especially when they widen the bridge and four lanes wide. But uh, uh, we've been reducing.
produce the size of that, a uh, sign, put a similar sign there. So we would, we would like to keep our. On uh, 122. Or 122. And, and we need the height to get a garden the same width as the So what, what height are you talking about? Oh, that means it's eight foot high. We would call. Uh, it, it would be a, instead of it being a horizontal sign, uh, we would, you know, put a vertical sign. But we could, um, we could reduce the size if we needed to. If that's an eight foot sign, we could, we could draw it into six foot. What height would you want it, 30 feet? Uh, that sign would still probably be uh, to the top 27 to 30 feet tall. Okay. But I mean, stacking it, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's just going to bring We're getting the panels, in other words. Right. It will still be 12 feet above ground at the bottom, or 10 to 12 feet. The schematic that you see on the screen that's in your packet um, is 30 feet tall, 158 square feet, um, 8 by 19, 8 by 20. Um, if that height, if you can picture maybe that same proportion, but shrinking down to 6 by 14, 6 by 14, or maybe 5 by 15, that would get to 75 square feet. And that would be in compliance for area, just extra tall. Mr. Crump, is that type of sign available to you? That, that sign, when we have, a, you know, we don't, it, it, it's probably going to be 6, 5, 14, 15, yeah. Uh, if we have, there's, there's an option. Yeah, yeah. And would that be agreeable to your client? Can you, can you Just come forward, please. Just state your name and address for the record, please. Really, my name is Jimmy Burdett. I live on 805 in my backyard. Hey, hi, let's go to 316, And uh, we both came in to, to get the variance approved for the sign proposed. Um, I sent him first is because he's technical. And I'm just like a layman. I do not know all the technicalities, so I hope um, we understand all the technical questions from him, from <coughs> my understanding. So, before all the yearly construction went on about, you know, I had three entrances, like I don't want to repeat what has already been discussed, like Ms. Vicky already said, it was wide open, three entrances, one for the truckers and two for regular people and all we do used to cut in front of our store, which has been relocated in the back of our store. And we had actually um, three other signs that were huge compared to the one that we're proposing right now. And the grandfathering sign that is also kind of sort of in the question right now has had already existed even before the new construction. It was already there, which is after the new construction. We just we just uh, did it new, you know, uh, give, give it a new look while we we're redoing the whole station. The reason why we had spent, I personally, me and my wife, we spent more than what. We could have imagined the reason, you know, being because our business has taken a hit with all the construction and everything else that's happening. We, that is my first business, um, and I'm, I'm attached, and I, 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 I want, I love my people in Kehara, and I do the business, um, you know. <coughs> um, so I don't want to leave that place. I didn't want it to leave it abandoned. and I had an option to. But cut off my lease. I do not own the rights to the property of this business, and I continue, you know, serving because I felt part of the community. And uh, and what I was saying is, three other signs that existed before, the three entrances that I had before, those were the, those were almost the size of uh, a, spe a, a spectacular board, you know, like what you see on the side of the interstate. The three of them that existed. They were all three of them were illuminated, you know, illuminated signs. So um, with those three gone and the three entrances gone, me being having just one entrance right now. And the Yuri people, you know, they the bridge was supposed to be like to say this high. Uh, the height has elevated with the new new bridge and it has steep up and my gas station is kind of sort of like completely hidden, it's, it looks like it's in a well. 
you know, it's hard to see, it's really hard to see. So all I'm requesting is, uh, like the interstate sign, I, the billboard sign, the grand colorian sign, that I make people take the exit, to, to take the exit or take out of this. They can see that they pull up the exit, but for after they pull in, it's hard to see where this gas station is, and they're just going in sick though, right across the street from me. And it's fine, you know, he's also in business to do the business. And I want him to have it. The similar the sign that I'm asking the variance for in front of the company right now, the Citgo in front of me has two signs, just like this. Just like this, two signs. That are allowed, right? On 122. All I'm is just one. To make that, you know, to give me a fair chance for people to see that, okay, there is something on the left. On 122, we have to make a left, and then the smaller sign, Make them make another left, you know, to come in the from the motor into the to the truck. Okay. Did you have Mr. Patel, did you say that before the construction started, you had additional signage that had to be had removed? Three spectacular yeah. signs at three entrances. We had no, that was similar to this. Yeah. Even yeah. yeah. bigger than this. And those yeah. had to be taken down because of the construction. Yes. Okay. Excuse me, just a minute. May I ask that for a question? Sure. Matt, excuse me. Those signs that were taken down that Mr. Patel just described that were there before the construction started, they were large, big signs? Or I don't remember them being particularly large, but this is the old area. You like can see the three driveways. There were two along what used to be Morgan Road, and I think right. there was one at the entrance on 122. Were those not grandfathered? Or? They were the lands on pond which they sat were purchased by DOT. Okay. Old Morgan Road is now part of I-75. Okay. The new Morgan Road is a new roadway, however, the Georgia 122 right of way has expanded. So everything got displaced. So nothing changed with the overlay during that period? Just no. The, just the property being changed? Purchased the overlay, those purchased. signs were legal, non conforming, grandfathered in. Yep. Um, the billboard that's existing is at the very south edge of that yellow line. You can see the shadow of it in the area. Mm -hmm. okay. um, okay. There is some question as to which property it's actually sitting on. And staff has conceded its existence and did not make it an issue for this property with new signage. Normally it would, but because of where it is and the surrounding signs, we just left it alone. So three driveway entrances are now one larger driveway, and it's because more of our road has moved. Okay. Is there a discussion? Mr. Hightower, he had a sign, a sign at each one of those entrances between his building and 75 yeah. that you see on the, on, the, on the screen here. And they took those away because that's no longer his property. I understand, yeah. That's, that's clear, thank you. Yeah. About clear mud, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the three signs that you that people took down, it's still sitting in the back of my property. If one of you, uh, I'd invite you guys to come and look at it. It's huge compared to what we tried to put Three signs combined, I mean, just one sign, just do half of it will be the sign that we're proposing right now. I don't know exactly. Right. Technically, yeah, right. 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 Um, so here's a point to ponder. Uh, this business owner, in my opinion, has been hardship by the DFT. Through no fault of his own, he's lost his sign, his signage. And because of this change, he is now disadvantaged because his neighbor across the road wasn't right. He didn't lose his sign. He's lost his signage, he's lost his entrances to his building, he's lost his visibility. In my opinion, he's been severely hardship. I agree, Madam Chair. I think we should find some way to try to give Mr. Patel some relief uh, in whatever form that's suggested, but I think he's due some relief in this situation for many reasons. Right. I recommend we do what Matt said. Go ahead and, and, and do a variance for him to have his monument sign, or his tall sign, right next to 122 with a smaller directional sign at his entrance there off of Morgan Road. That would be one option. 
the other option would be to give the applicant what he asked for. That would be another option. I'll entertain a motion if anyone has one. So this is the sign that, that they're asking for? In, yes. Internally lit. Mm -hmm. um, 157, mm -hmm. this is the sign that he's asking for, yes. In place on 122. In addition to the signs that are already there. Commissioner Graham? I'll be going back to the point. All right. Due to the hardship, not his fault, he had three signs up. And uh, he been, I'd say we make a waiver to give him what he wants. Okay. I second the motion. All right. We have a motion from Commissioner Graham that we grant a waiver and grant the applicant his request. We have a second by Commissioner Bailey. This is a recommendation. This is a recommendation, to the correct? City Council. Yes, to the City Council of Haymire. All right. Is there any discussion on the motion? If not, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor of Commissioner Graham's uh, motion that we grant a waiver and allow the applicant's uh, request, please signify by raising your right hand. All those against? Okay. That was unanimous. So our recommendation is that the applicant should be granted his request. Um, Chairperson, may I make a recommendation from, uh, in, 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 and hopefully it will be from the entire uh, planning commission that the city of Hay Hollow uh, be asked to revisit their overlay district because of the construction at the interstate and, and improve it some. Uh, as we well know, there's a lot of construction going on up there putting in a sports complex. Hopefully it's bring some more development into that area and maybe have them look at this and get ahead of it before we get into another situation like this. I'd like to make that as a proposal from the, from the commission if, if everybody's agreeable to it. Um, I a motion and a vote. Yes, that's what I was going to suggest. Well, that's my motion. Okay. I'll second Commissioner Hall's motion. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor that we would recommend to make to the city of Hamar, they would take a second look at the overlay district and its effect on I-75. It's and a point of clarity mm -hmm. is to revisit the overlay district provisions in terms of both geography and the development standards. Okay. Exactly. All right. You ordered the way it needs to be done. <laughs> okay. Don't expect it. All right. So that motion is made by Commissioner Hall and seconded by Commissioner Bailey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All those against, and that passes unanimously. Okay. They got their recommendations, and they got another recommendation. Right. 